feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness Oh my God, that's a great shot, Craig Let's jump into another rep Alright, good morning, everybody It is your boy, Craig Otherwise known as Fact That Madness, today is going to be a nine hole round of golf. I got my new Samsung 360 that I'm working with. I've been trying to find a solution to, um, to my setup, so at the end of the day I'll show you how I got it set up. But. I'm basically going to play a scramble round against myself. If I need to take a second shot, I will. But I'm trying to not take any mulligans or drops or anything like that. Just play as close to what it actually is as I possibly can. So I'm just going to, and I'm using something new today, using a Birdie Golf. Um, I don't know what it's called. I'll put it in the, in the description, but I'll try to see what it'll do. I've used my tailor-made burner for my driver, which is getting a little worn out, but I drive all right with it, so let's have a good round. It's going to stretch a little bit, but not too much. We're gonna see if we can find it, but it went right. So I am going to play a second ball. that was cracked well that's three shots I didn't have any practice shots so fuck it I'm not leaving the tee until I get a good shot so I usually can do this that's better it's a little right pretty much in the fairway. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't know how long it'll take me to record, how long my battery life works on this, but I'll try to keep you out, keep it out of front. So I think it should be able to capture me from this. I'm not going to be looking at the camera. Anyway, I'm trying. And I could have a little less bumpy ride. I hit three balls, two of them hit right, so I'm just out here to have a good time, but I'm also trying to figure out, oh, let's see.
хорошо. Okay, there is one wall there. Taking the yellow ball and get out of these trees. This is a little bumpy. One of the balls went over there. So I have a coarse friend. He comes out, his name is Mr. Bush. He lives over on this first hole somewhere. He has a dog named Ginger. Ginger and I love each other. But uh, he was nice enough to give me a ton of balls and some tomatoes. And in exchange, I gave him some of the... Liza made some... Uh, she made some chili with the tomatoes that he made. It's really good. So he'll let us know how they went. But he lives in that gray house over there. So if, I don't know if you can see or not, but that's my ball. My ball is there. So this is my first shot. So I'm using a new tool. So I'm gonna save this shot. Track next shot. All right, so I, that was my first hole with that one, and I had a kind of an issue, so we're gonna see what happens with it. Maybe I'll walk it, but I'm gonna go to the one that I'm used to, which is Swing U, and that's okay. I'm just gonna basically say that I'm playing a game and just do what I've been doing, because for some reason, start round. I just kind of used to this one so there's my ball I'm gonna take it from here I haven't quite figured out where I need to get in the shot but I think it needs to be off to the right a little bit so I'm just gonna figure out and this is and maybe center too but anyway if I do like a I know that I like to be 100 yards or so away from the T. So right now it says we're at 265. So if I do like a good, a nice smooth seven, then it'll get me where I want to be. Take a mulligan because that was a shitty shot. I chunked it, but even with the chunk, see, that's the thing. He's taking a mulligan. Still kind of tough. For my seven.
Alright. So I'm still taking I'm still taking the second shot. Well my best shot. So my first shot didn't go very far at all. We were at 265. It might have gone 40 yards, maybe 50 yards. So it's kind of sucky. So that was my second shot. And then my other balls, not too much further. So I still might have to take three shots to get there. But if I had to take three shots instead of trying to take a, a hero shot. Oh, 180. My five might get me there. I get a good, good solid five. My three. Actually, yeah, my five. I think my five might get me there. So I'm going to try my five. my third shot with my five kind of sucked I'm gonna be okay with uh, <laughs> that shitty shot but it's a nice day out here it's probably it's nice and cool today it's probably good 82 degrees maybe Normally I do better with that shot. I probably should have hit my my hybrid. It would have got me further within a certain amount of space between the green. But that's all right. I can't find my other shot. Let's see where it went. This is my first shot. My first shot is over here. All right, that's what I'll do. Just try to take a reasonable shot with my pitching wedge. That's at 90, it says 90 yards. So my That was past the green. I got a good solid contact hit with that. Um, I'm probably gonna have to hit my other one. So, I'm taking the best shot. It's still my third, this is my fourth shot. And it's 67 yards, so my approach wedge will be fine. So that was my fourth shot. Still sucked. Two of them passed the hole. It's my first hole. Maybe I can make this. Not a mulligan hole, but I'm just saying like it was a warm-up kind of hole. I didn't 
wasn't the best the best result but here to kind of learn so we're on the green or we're not on the green yet but I think uh, Gonna be two under. Kinda sucks. But Seven. That was a seven. Three fights, basically. All right, second hole. It's looking good. The sun is off to the right. I love this hole. I love this hole. Yeah. Listen to Dan Erie County in the background. Alright. You can see it rained a lot and then I've never seen the greens this brown. I don't know what they do to keep them green, but it's been kind of uh, maybe waterlogged. So anyway. Alright. I got my Callaway uh, Irish Callaway. So I honestly didn't see where it went, so. I'm just gonna do a provisional. I mean, 
I'm gonna have to figure out a way to be able to track my ball. I honestly have no idea where the, either of those went, so. Uh, I'm the first one out on the course, so it's likely that I can see the dew trails. You know what I'm talking about, where there's dew on the ground and and then the ball lands and then rolls. So, I mean, it felt good, but I always have the potential to be errant left or right. So, bring a lot of balls in there. Sometimes I lose a couple, but then I look for multiple ones at different holes and, and then I'll find three or four, so. This felt like, second hole there's a, there's a water hazard right in front of the green. And oftentimes if I don't, I'm not careful or diligent, I'll hit a couple of balls into there. But more often than not now, lately, I've been getting them over with my seven or maybe even my nine, depending on where I'm at. I'm not hitting my eight very well. My eight is a, is a, what is it? It's a Max 3 with a Cobra, Cobra Max 3. I just haven't hit that one very well. So, now well, we're gonna see where we can, if we can find my ball. I don't know whether if it went right or left. Sometimes I get some surprise. I might have to drop, but we're gonna give it a good, good look. I usually drive this, this hole. It's a beautiful hole. I usually drive this hole fairly decently, but occasionally I'll go right or left, get it into the trees. So I'm just gonna look and see if I can see it out here. Um, you can see how brown it is out here. Got a lot of rain. I didn't see how far we are. So right now I have 152. I didn't see how many how many yards we went. But I don't see my ball at all. Alright. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me see if I can see it up here. remember I gotta remember to aim the ball or aim the camera in the direction that I'm looking so I did find it what I didn't find when I came before I came out here is I had some t-shirts that had some holes and I don't like to throw away t-shirts and stuff like that but Liza made me throw it away but we're gonna find out where this ball is. It's over here, off to the right, not in the fairway. I don't know if it's my first ball or my second ball. It's a little bit buried. The lie is a little bit buried. And it's right in front of me. So the whole placement, pin placement on this is left middle rear um, so I think that we're about where it says we're 122 I think my nine my nine will do just fine to get me there especially if I if I chunk it I'm gonna try not to chunk it if I want to miss if I miss I, I want to miss right
much better. Much less. See, that was a lot of club. Man, I hit it well. I knew it was a nine, but I was just so worried about getting it up. So, if I take the same swing with my pitching wedge, I wonder what happens. I mean, this is just me trying to figure things out, so, you know, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? But I, I concentrated on club speed on that one. That's better. That's right in the center. Yeah. So it was my pitching wedge from 122 yards out, 123 maybe. Yeah, I got it there. My nine carried way too far, and my first ball hit in the uh, in the water. I might go check to see if I can grab it because I have a a ball retriever extension ball retriever, and uh, despite the fact that you know I have work to do obviously for eBay I am capable of making my day as long as short as I as I can so as I want to so I'm just gonna go up here and see if I can grab it a lot of balls get in here I'm sure I really do like the yellow balls. So, oh, this actually is one of my balls. So, good catch. So, I went fishing and I got two. Like I said, sometimes if I spend some time, I lost one and I got two out of there. So, it'll help me later on. I mean, golf as it is can already be an expensive sport. So just, just, uh, you know, doing little things like that, looking for balls on the side can help. But we are here and we're going to, so that was a, I'll try to ride up right to where the ball is. So there is the ball, which I'm gonna take. So that was my, second shot I made it there with my my pitching wedge I originally tried my nine which went far over to the right somewhere so I'm just gonna line up where I am here grab my other ball and line up this shot right here And go over here and get my other ball. It's out here somewhere. Somewhere over. Birdie or par, kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm aiming for. Birdie or par. So. That's a good puck, right?
this hole coming up. I have been driving it. So I did get a four and I got two putts. Good job. All right, I have been driving this hole, but the last few times that I played it, I hit my three iron. My three iron, I don't hit well often. I gotta concentrate on good contact, good club speed, and try to keep it within a certain space. The problem is when I drive this, there are two hills, which I'll show you, down on the right side. This is hole number three, it's a par four. Again, we're at Mac Pine. Back Pine Country Club, I'm a member here. But there, there's uh, these heels on the right hand side. Sometimes I go just short of them or on top of them, but if you go past them, you're in the trees. So I wanna try to avoid that. I do use a T when I drive this with my three. I don't have a problem saying that, but it allows me to, uh, to get it up a little bit, so. We're gonna, this is my first time doing it with this particular camera, so I'm just setting things up. I don't know exactly how it's gonna look, but my goal here is to just keep it, to get it up at probably a good 50, 60, 70 yards, maybe 50 yards that I have of fairway. I just there's a there's also a um, there's a bunker fairway bunker on the left hand side. I want to get past that or just short of it, but I'm gonna try to stay left and just get it up there. Good club speed, swing speed, good swing. Ah, completely left. why that shit went like that. I mean, I really wasn't aiming that far at all. So, maybe I can try. No, I can't try that either. is if I could shape my shots it would have been a better shot but when I say shape I just mean it's a dog left turns to the left if I would have hugged the left side a little bit better it might have been good but I think I still went over that damn hill I'll show you the hills you guys are gonna see the hills but anyway I mean, the shot was still good. I mean, with my three iron, I don't hit it very well. My first shot went far left. I'm gonna see if I can see it or find it real quick, but I don't consider it gone until I get over there. When I circle back around this hole, oftentimes I can see it, but then again, oftentimes I don't hit it past there. So I might take a little walk past there real quick. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna aim it there. See if I can find it.
on my ball, wipe my face off a little bit. We're about to come up on a hole that has on a hole that has uh, water. I have a tendency not to hydrate as much as I need to, so. Playing from the white tees. Yeah. Playing from the white tees. So, I didn't track my three, but like I said, these hills that are coming up, I'll show you where they are. I typically, with my driver, I just feel like I'm more, more undeliberately uh, to the right. And I don't want to be. So I think my ball might actually be in the fairway. I kind of misjudged it or misread it. I thought it went right in the fairway. But like I said, I thought I thought it went to the right over here. These hills are the ones that I'm that I'm talking about. But it turns out that my ball is fairly good shot. So te so clearly clearly my three iron is the shot that I want to take when I play this hole I'm going to be playing my dad and my, my uncle uh, they're going to come and visit so I got to make sure I get all these things and I'm just going to double check just to make sure that is I think that's my ball but I am going to just turn this way and make sure I can't find any other ball So you can see, it says we're 101. I'm definitely, a, I'm definitely my pitching wedge at least at a minimum. Now, if I give it a good swing with my pitching wedge, um, then uh, where do I put my other? If I give it a good swing with my pitching wedge, I mean I. It looks like the hole is just a little bit in the front versus right in the middle. I can't, I, I think I left my, uh, I left my range finder at home in one of my shorts, I think. So anyway, I'm going to go with my pitching wedge. It's fairly aggressive. As long as I get it up, I should be good. Up sweet speed. Not bad, Craig. That's a little long. So, it is long. I mean, technically, I, I mean, I must be tagging my pitching wedge a little bit better. So, I'm gonna try my gap wedge. It's, it's under 100 yards. So on a good day, obviously I can get past there. I would normally, but you know, I'm not nearly as consistent as I want to be. So we'll just try it. Dude, that was short right. I'm gonna try one more. I don't know which one I'm gonna take, but. Try, I'll try one more. So under a hundred, I mean, I like I said, it may not be as consistent as I want to be, but I need to aim a little bit further left. If I aim a little bit further left, then I don't know. I don't know 
what's up with this one but that gap wedge was not good so I didn't make it into the green in two so this is my drive to my second ball first one of my balls or if you're gonna take the best ball I think probably the one on the right hand side is the one although certainly have a chance where we can chip this on there's like a little tiny hill there oh, so it's closer to the back than it is the front I don't know what I was afraid of but I wonder I wonder if a good I'm gonna try this with my my nine my seven chip Not a bad chip. Not a bad chip. Alright. So the ball that I'm actually taking, oops. The ball that I'm actually taking is off to the right. Now this one, this ball, is off the green. Actually I have two balls kind of basically in the same spot. So I think I would pitch with my with my nine, I mean, maybe with my with my pitching wedge, not my nine. So let's see what that looks like. better with it. I saw something about this uh, calculation on how, how to calculate how much roll you're going to get. Clearly I could use that lesson. I like the guy. I don't know what his name is, but uh, I think he's in like Thailand. I really do like his. Uh, all right. So. All right. One. Two. That's my third shot. So, this is my fourth shot. starting off. If I could make make it so that my the majority of my putts are only two. So we got a bogey. Two putts save my score. I've been using swing you. There's one that's over here that went past the green. I don't know how far past the green. But we'll see if we can find it. Oh it's right there. All right, this is a par three, number four hole, fourth hole. All right, we gotta make sure we get the Sorry, par three, hole number four. Oh, I really wonder what it will look like if I if I do it this way. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm just gonna try it one time. Put my put my ball there. 
<laughs> I've never tried this. Never tried this before. So we're gonna see what it looks like. What this looks like. My God, that's a great shot, Craig. Right on the green. And I'm literally like maybe four feet from the green. This might be on camera my first par three birdie. Wasn't a hole in one, but damn, it's pretty close. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So. Okay, now, this is where we're just gonna go straight out to it, but you're gonna see how close I am to that damn hole. That, Sir Craig, was a great shot. I did my seven, made sure my club speed was really nice. It went way high up in the air. Now, I mean, I'm not the best putter, but this is certainly a doable putt. Certainly a doable putt for birdie. Nice shot, Craig. I'm really proud of that shot, I actually am. Yeah. That's a little further than what I thought, but hell, I gave it a good shot. I mean, at a, at a minimum, we will get par out of this. And I was a little bit excited. It seemed like it was closer, but it's really not that close. It might be. I mean, it's a little further than what I thought. So anyway, still a good effort. It's not over yet. I could still make this putt for birdie. So, but I'm really proud of this shot, actually. Really proud of this shot. Because I left myself plenty of room. Oh, look at how the dew is just covering, covering the uh, green. Now, I don't know what they do, what it's called. But I come here, I come here quite early. And uh, by the time that I'm leaving, I, they've come out with this machine. It's kind of like a carpet cleaner of the greens. Maybe it sucks up the water. But. My birdie putt wasn't good, but I would like to try that putt again, just because I, I hit the ground. But I would just like to try to get a smooth stroke without hitting the ground, just to see what it feels like. And I never tried aiming at the, the pins like that. If I get close to the pin without hitting it, or maybe probably get uh, exercise. So. the speed. Try to get closer and closer to that pin.
but I'm trying to get two putts. So I got one over on that. I got a bogey, one. All right, right now I'm just finding something to listen to. <laughs> uh, Finkel and them are live. This is depressing. Poor watching. They're live in the morning. Let's see what 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 they got going on. Sounds like uh, Muckster might have an infection or something. <laughs> so I got a bogey when I thought I was going to get par. So I got excited and I didn't close the deal. That's all right. So anyway. There's a lizard. Now I typically, I don't I typically don't do so well on this hole if I, if I drive from the, t uh, from the white tee. So I am going to, uh, I'm gonna drive from the yellow. Wind's kicking up a little bit, so, I mean, I don't have any delusions. Is it delusion of, uh, delusion of grandeur? I don't know how you say that, but I'm not, I'm not jaded by my own thoughts with, with uh, regards to my abilities and I don't have a problem moving up on a tee when it will make the hole better for me overall and when I say better I mean to play better shot etc so I'm just going to do what I do I'm not rushing anything, but I really would like all holes to be on, to be on, to be captured. I don't know, I have a lot of memory. It says I have like five hours to capture. So we'll just see. I think it's gonna, I gotta, I downloaded the, I can't even remember what it's called, but it's what I needed to do to stitch the footage, or to reframe the footage in DaVinci Resolve. So I kind of worked on that last night because I knew I wanted to do this. 
I don't know me being this close to it, arm's length away, is too close. I can angle it up, but I'm really more concerned about getting out in front of me when I switch. I don't know which camera is the best, if they're the same like quality or whatever, but just trying to figure it out. One good drive, it's a beautiful day, and we're just gonna try to do well by this hole. I got something in my teeth, I can't get it out. So, so forgive me, <laughs> but you're gonna see. Man, I didn't even, oh shoot, so I, It's over here somewhere. So. Okay, there we go. So it says we're 215 yards. So basically, I can do a nine, swing away with my nine, get me kind of up there. I mean, if I did a seven. It might get me closer, but I can hit my nine well. So I'm just gonna try to get good contact, keep it in the fairway. See, I'm just right of the fairway. But but yeah, see? So that was one. Man, if I maybe if I would have tried my seven or my five, maybe, shoot. I could have gone for it. Anyway, I, I just know that I do better with with a with a chip chipper type shot lob shot whatever you call it because um, I hit that ball better so or that club better so I just put it up here try to get it close to the fairway try to get close enough to it where I can I don't know what they call it up and in and I thought it means that I chip it close enough and then put it in without hitting two putts, but anyway, some of this terminology I'm not sure about yet, but all right. Now, I could kind of bump and run this, but I like at 81 yards, man, I still, still with my pitching wedge, hmm, actually, my A is there because it's under my approach shot, my gap wedge. Oh. oh, see, you know what? I just try to get too pretty with it. So I'm taking mulligan with that. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my pitching wedge like I fucking was gonna do in the first place. Put the ball close to where I had it. Try it with my, try it with this one. Now that's clearly the shot. <laughs> but. Well, that hole wasn't good as far as my shots. So I hit from there a couple of different shots, but picking up this one. My first one went further over. I like that one. I could take that as a second shot. That's my third shot. I can, all right, it's a good question, I can put it. That was my one, two, three.
Well, that hole I'm taking a taking a six, a three putt, I think. Yeah, wasn't a good hole. Here's another hole where uh, where I draw, I drive from, I move up to the yellow tees. Um, I think it might give me a chance to maybe get there in two, but that's not really why I do it. There's this tree right here. If I'm gonna go, just so you can see. When I draw, when I drive from this box, the white box here, for some reason that tree always gets me, and I, I can't shake my shot quite well enough yet to get around it, even if I come over here. So I don't know. I just move up to the tee box at uh, to the yellow. It does fine for me. All right, so like this hole, this is hole number six. I generally do okay with it. We've been going for about an hour and some change, so. Um, let me get the yellow ball and a T that comes up off the ground, so. I have no idea where that ball went. There was no need for that shot. Huh. I mean, he was on here trying to do well by the shot. I could take a couple of mulligans. It's only me out here. Kind of learning. I was trying to do a shape shot, but it didn't work. So I'm just going to shoot down on the fairway. Alright, so I'm um, all right. It's nine oh four. I got three holes to go. I have no clue where that ball, either of those balls went. Sun gets in the way on this hole. 
I mean, I get it up in the air and then it just, I just lose it. I don't think it went right or left. I mean, it might have gone right. But that might be, there's one, one ball right there. All right, let's see where this ball went. I mean, if anything, it went right. So, it went right somewhere. And if it didn't, then, oh well. <laughs> That's the shade. The shade is over there, so. I said that I drive this hole better if I go from the yellow tee and then I don't get one in the fairway. Or I lose two, so I have no clue where it is. I'm gonna see where it's possible to scan the horizon, see if I can find a ball. If not, I can put myself at about 150 yards out and try to get a couple shots with my seven. See what it's like. Oh, there it is. All right, there's one ball. So, I'm gonna hit a, I don't know, I'll take a, take my seven, tip it on. second shot. Eclectic. <laughs> uh, old guy, old guy Mitch is on, on Finkel and Muxter with, with Finkel and Muxter. And he said, we got a, we got an electric group of people. <laughs> uh, it tickles me, but he obviously been eclectic. He's talking about diverse, different opinions, etc. This is not a bad shot to get out of the trees, which I don't do very often, but I might take a drop. 
right, maybe I should start trying to to be okay with it. Now, the question is, I think the better play here, strategy-wise, I should have been right, because then I could bump it and run it up to the hole. But if I, I'm either going to be going over that bunker and stop it there, or I can bump and run it up there. So I'm going to try both shots. I'm going to try my DW. Good shot, Craig. So, I like that shot. That went well. What about what about the bump and run with my nine? Uh, my seven probably. How's this shot go? Not much, not much bump to that bump and run, was there? All right, so clearly I, I, I took the right shot the first time. So we're not, we're not bad. I don't know where the battery is on this, but it seems pretty fun to be able to uh, kind of document the whole entire. That was my third shot third shot I'm gonna tell you something this is something I don't know the answer to so one two three four wait one into the trees two out Three onto the green. This is my fourth shot. I'm gonna try again. I got distracted. I'm not. getting windy you might not be able to hear me so it's just gonna be all right oh the other question I was gonna ask so I know that you cannot drive your cart hello can I do for you? It's okay. How often? Do... A small non-tax deductible contribution for the drive. How often do I have to tell you all not to call me? Oh, of course, to make it easy.
easier for all supporters. If you're helping with $15 or more, you will receive a thank you letter from the organization as well as a contribution return envelope so you can return a check. So can we count on your support? How many more times do I have to tell you not to call me? That's what I say to the telemarketers. Sometimes I have to say it twice, but all right. This is a similar situation. Last, I can do my three. I'm pretty sure this, uh, this tells me, let's see. It tells me I'm at plus seven, at seven holes, so. <laughs> um, 174. No matter what, I think it's my three. I mean, it really is my three. So, that's what I'm going for, my three. Wind's blowing right at me. do with three it told you you cannot do it with three I tried to do it anyway so I get it I like that one shot though uh, we're almost done we're on seven two more holes to go and it was a good day it's nice and cool Liza would have loved it out here today oh I wonder if I should Gonna try the yellow. Huh, let's try. Okay, let's try. Let's try it. Alright, I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna get my balls.
that shot. Seven got me there. I went up against what I thought was the wind, and I fought it. I didn't fight it hard enough. So, that first shot, though, not too terrible of a shot. I mean, I got it up on. Oh, here. I got it up on the left side, and I specifically said if I was going to miss, I didn't want to miss left. I missed left, but I didn't miss too far left because look, all of that green on the right hand side, clearly that's where I wanted to go for and be. So I'll keep that in mind. Now I don't know what the hell they did out here, but this green part right here looked terrible not too many days ago. Oh, I don't know if I asked my question. The question I was gonna ask was, are you allowed, to, I know you can't drive your carts on there, but are you allowed to have hand carts on the green? Comment. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Cause I typically try to make it so that it's uh, like, on the fringe, but I'm not sure. So, um, I'm chilling. That was my. So that's two. So the wind is howling, but it's really nice and cool. I mean, I'm sweating a little bit, but not so much that uh, it's unbearable. I can see why people who do come out here, and this, there's my other wall, I didn't even play it. But uh, I can see why people come out, and if they have the right type of gear, they're probably not gonna sweat too, too much, or if they do, it gets wicked away. So anyway. I like this kind of weather. I might like, I might enjoy kind of a fall winter type uh, feel in North Carolina because it doesn't get too cold. Might be, might be kind of pleasant. So this hole I typically go right. So I'm gonna try to stay left for sure. I might try to shape this a little bit, but haven't quite got that, that shot down pat. Uh, get some water. Last time I was out here, the uh, button stuck. So.
sense because it's already windy. It's gonna be like right in my face. Right in my face. I mean, I, I can try to get some control with my three, but you know, I'm not I'm not the best with my three, but I certainly can try some type of a shot. So, I mean, I can try one more. I'll take it. Fuck. I mean, I just needed to get it. Ooh. Alright. And still recording. Surprise, surprise. So I hit like three balls into the to the right over here in the trees, which is not a surprise. I normally do that anyway, but I normally can find them fairly well too. So or find other ones. I didn't see if I hit anything left, but the wind really is blowing right at my face. I should have probably thought to do a to do a three iron anyway, but I did a three. I mean, ain't way far left way far left so anyway I got a little good bounce so I hit the cart path went where it did so I'm just gonna be carefully looking for some balls on the right hand side see what we got uh, it was a good day I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to do this but I really am just trying to make it so that it's like documented how much better I'm getting with my shot selection, things that I'm doing, etc. So, um, this says that I'm 
184 yards away. Um, to be honest with you, if I just get a cool seven right up there by the fairway, I'll be happy. And if I were to try with my five or maybe my three to get there, I mean, it would have been a far worse shot. So that's my third shot. I'm okay with it. And now I gotta look for my other balls. <laughs> I don't see them yet. But they went up and over into there pretty far. Alright, I'm just going to look for my ball. two balls. Pretty sure I hit two balls. There is one that I hit that went, I don't know, God knows where. It probably went right, but I didn't see it. And this shot that I took right here, which was a seven to try to get it into the fairway for a approach type shot um, that I know that I can get onto the green. Probably with my sand wedge or you know like a wedge it's gonna be my my 55 I have a 55 and have a 60 I don't have any other wedges that I can use and my pitching wedge okay so this shot as you can see is gonna have to go over that bunker gonna have to go over that bunker and uh, towards the right
can't that's that's where I said I was going to try to make it go and that's where it went now if I wanted to try to be a little bit more risky I guess or aggressive I could try to make it that's that was my third shot I could try to make it more over that bunker closer to the hole but and it's not that I'm confident that I can make this putt from here but I'm confident that I can get it up to a second putt so that's what I'm trying to do That was five, and a two putt. And we're on to, and we're on to the ninth hole, final hole for my day. Now, a lot of times I will drive this the yellow I'm gonna try the white first, and if it if I get a reasonable dry, then I'll go ahead and go. But I play this hole better if I drive from the yellow, but it's okay. Today I didn't even I didn't even uh, keep track of my clubs like I normally do. Kind of getting a better idea of what that what that looks like. And I don't get too often the chance to get a shot of my of me in front. So I'm going to shape it there. Didn't have much flight to the to the right. It might be at that bunker, but I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I am okay with it.
So, I don't know what's the best way to aim with this thing, but I can try. Ooh, so it didn't make it, it made it just front of the fairway. So, that's going to be a good, uh, maybe a nine. Might be my nine. We'll see. Whatever it is. I'm going to try to get it there. I'm trying to get it to the green in two this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to try to be a hero about it. I'm not going to try to be a hero about it, but I mean, that's a fairly good drive. I can try to get there in two. I just do not want to miss it. That's my whole thing. Is I don't want to miss, make a missed shot. So, either get it there safely or not. But before I go to it, I'm going to see if I can find my ball, which I hit off to the right. So if I can see it, I'll get it. And I'm not picking up any range balls. A lot of times I pick up range balls and I'll come shoot them. I gotta have two days there. Two days to show. Facts with FAQ the madness. Fact the madness. So, okay. Okay. All right. So, very good drive. I'm saying a very good drive because it's it's it went over the tree like I wanted it to. Nice high arc. I mean, I can get to. I can get there. It's a. Uh, 132 that's that's a nine all day for me but it's uphill so it probably plays more like me hitting my seven so I'm gonna treat it as if it's my seven that will get me there uh, my eight well I don't hit the eight very well but let's try it all right we're just gonna try it
went in the bunker. So the eight, the eight was good. It was good. But I can't hit the fucking eight. So when in doubt, go with the nine maybe? I just don't know how to treat it. I mean, I guess I have to treat it as if I can't fucking hit it. I give up. All right. So that was in the bunker. Confucius, don't confuse us. Let me explain. The object of this game, let's all play the same. Don't question the madness, embrace the change. The superior man seeks truth, that's his aim. He who knows all the answers ain't been asked enough. Life's like a puzzle, you gotta call his blood. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. Some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. Oh!